Hello everyone, it is finally time to make my most requested video since 2015. How to add a smoke unit to a Backman Thomas model. I don't know why it has taken me so long to make this video, but it is finally here. Before we begin, a quick disclaimer. This video will walk you through the process of converting your model to DCC and adding a smoke unit. This process can be dangerous, so if you're under 18, please do not try this at home without an adult supervision. Let's begin. I've broken down this tutorial into two parts. Part one will show you how to convert a regular Backman Thomas to DCC, and then I will walk you through the process of adding a smoke unit. I do not recommend installing a smoke unit without DCC. Locomotives that only run on DC do not generate enough power for the smoke unit unless running at full speed. And even then, it isn't a lot of smoke. For this project, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver, scissors, wire strippers, a soldering iron, flux, solder, heat shrink tubing, a 4.5 millimeter drill bit, a Dremel or something similar to use the 4.5 millimeter drill bit, a DCC decoder, a Sooth 22 smoke unit, and of course, a Backman Thomas. As you can see, the Thomas model I'm using isn't brand new. You'll have to excuse the state he's in, but he'll work for the purposes of this tutorial. The chassis I'm using in this video is actually owned by Party Up 210 Productions, who has actually commissioned a new Thomas from me. Thank you very much for letting me use your chassis in this tutorial. Make sure you check out their channel. To begin with, you'll need to remove these two screws at the bottom of the chassis. The middle one keeps the wheels in place, so no need to remove that. Make sure you put all of the screws somewhere safe so they won't get lost. Once those have been removed, the bottom of the chassis can be separated from the motor housing. This Backman Thomas is the newer version, which doesn't have the wires connected to the bottom of the chassis. If you have the older version, that doesn't matter. Just be careful not to pull on these wires as they may break from the wheel pickups. Once this bottom portion has been removed, you can remove these three screws underneath the running board. You can now carefully remove the running board from the body shell. Next, you'll need to remove the motor housing by removing these two screws. This can then be removed from the body shell. The circuit board can be removed by unscrewing these two screws. You can remove the iMEC by unclipping it from the front of the motor housing. This one has already been removed, but you can see the tabs for the clips here. You'll see four wires going from the motor housing to the circuit board. Red and black, your rail pickups, and then orange and grey that bring power to the motor. Sometimes the grey wire may be brown, but that's okay. Just make a note of it. To convert the engine to DCC, you're replacing the circuit board. So you can cut these wires as close to the board as you can, and you'll be left with these four wires. Using your wire strippers, carefully remove a little bit of the insulation around the wires so that they can be soldered to the decoder wires. Next, we can grab our DCC decoder. As you can see, this has a wonderful rainbow of wires. Please check your decoder's manual for more specific instructions, but most decoders will follow the same standards, where red and black are the rail pickups, and then orange and grey will again be for the motor. This makes our life easy, because it essentially means we will need to match red to red, black to black, orange to orange, and grey to grey, or brown. For this tutorial, we will also be wiring the smoke unit to this decoder, which will be our function one. This means we will also need the common wire, in this case that's blue, and the function one wire, in this case that's green. There is a general rule of thumb for this, but just in case, please refer to your decoder's manual. This part of the decoder setup is used to plug in to DCC ready locomotives. As the Backman Thomas we are using here is not DCC ready, we will need to cut this off. Because the smoke unit will be in front of the engine, keeping these wires longer will be helpful for us, so we will cut the blue and green wires quite close to this point. The rest of the wires don't need to be so long, and it will be better for wire management if we cut them a little shorter. Just like we did for the wires coming from the Backman Thomas, carefully remove a little bit of the insulation around the wires. Now is the time to add your heat shrink tubing. Cut it into short lengths and thread each wire through one of them. You only need to do this for one side of each color. 
I've also cut a larger piece of heat shrink tubing to help keep these wires neat and tidy once completed. You can also use tape. Next, we can add some flux to the tips of these wires. Plug in your soldering iron, and once hot enough, add a little bit of solder and solder each of these colors, red to red, black to black, orange to orange, and gray to gray slash brown. Then, once soldered, hold the soldering iron close to the heat shrink tubing so that, as the name implies, the heat can shrink the tubing and insulate the wires. This model has now been converted to DCC. Now let's look at adding the smoke unit. I recommend using Soothe 22 smoke units. They come with insulation as the smoke unit itself gets very hot and prevents the funnels from melting. They are 4.5 millimeters in diameter, which means they will not fit in the Batman Thomas funnels and thus will need to be removed and replaced. Use your 4.5 millimeter drill bit to remove the funnel and you'll be left with a hole that your smoke unit can thread through nicely. You probably won't want just the smoke unit as the new funnel, so I'd recommend 3D printing a new funnel that has a hole diameter of 4.5 millimeters. That way, the smoke unit can be threaded through the new funnel and painted black, like you can see on this sneak preview of my James model. I've also used plastic straws in the past with solder as the rim at the top. It's not the worst, but 3D printing a new one is probably the best way to go. From your smoke unit, you will have two wires, yellow and brown. Be very careful with these wires. If you're too rough, they will break loose from the smoke unit and they are the most difficult wires to reattach. Solder each of these wires to either the blue or green wires from the decoder, making sure you thread the blue and green through the large heat shrink tubing to help keep the wires neat and tidy. It doesn't matter whether you connect the yellow to the blue or the green as long as each one is connected to one wire only. Once you've finished soldering these wires, you can then heat the final large piece of heat shrink tubing. In the past, I've had problems where the chunky wires from the smoke unit can get in the way of putting the running board back together. So making a small cut on the running board stops it from pressing against the wires and allows the model to be put back together smoothly. Then it's simply re-screwing all the screws you've removed and putting them back together. If it's a new decoder, your Thomas will likely be set at the factory default of 003 as its locomotive identifying number. Please refer to your DCC system on how to change that. And that's it. Your Thomas model has now been converted to DCC and has a lovely new smoke unit inside. This process is pretty much identical for all other Batman Thomas models. I hope this has been helpful. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next. Until next time.